does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to be checking out NFL Armchair Quarterback, the ultimate TV football game! This is from Trade Win Industries. It's for two to four players. It's like about three hours to play, depending on uh, if you're watching for the whole game. And it's for ages, I'd say about eight and up. And in NFL Armchair Quarterback, you will be trying to predict each and every play that is going to happen in the football game you are watching. Whether it's a run, whether it's a pass, whether it's complete or incomplete, a touchdown, a turnover, a sack, all that good stuff. You're keeping track on this board. And if you are the one who gets the most correct or gambles the most, you are going to be the winner of the game. Sound intriguing? Let's open it up and see how it works. Okery dokery, we're going to be checking out NFL Armchair Quarterback on our awesome grip mat, which turns every game into a space game. So first and foremost, we got our handy-dandy rule sheet. It is a uh, one-page, double-sided. Uh, it's pretty much just a big wall of text, but the game is incredibly simple. You'll need this once and probably never, ever need it again. Uh, next, you are going to get a dry erase marker, which unfortunately the original owners of this game did not use. Thanks a lot, Scott, Ron, and Dad. They wrote in regular markers marker, which means it will never ever come off, and future generations cannot use this. But as you can see, it's a big cool stand-up thing. It stands up like so, and then uh, everyone can see the scores, and they have the quarters down there. It's really uh, pretty neat and helpful if it worked. Thanks a lot, Ron. So, uh, next, what are we going to be getting? You are going to be getting this little pad, which is going to help you keep track of who is playing the game. So you're going to write down the numbers and then the name of the players that are playing. So the quarterback and their number, the running backs, their number, the receivers and their numbers. It doesn't have a tight end slot, probably because this game was created back when the tight end was not really used too much as catching, but mostly for blocking, but you can easily just write tight ends down there. And as you can see, you're going to be getting a lot of these things, so that's pretty nice and helpful. Next, you are going to be getting the star of the show, which are four of these little boards. So we have four of them. One thing I do want to mention is they have little handles on them, which is incredibly useful. I'll buy it a little bit odd, but I'm a big fan of it. Um, so I'll show you exactly how this works, then we'll get into how the game is played. So essentially, in NFL Armchair Quarterback, you are going to be trying to predict on every single play what is going to happen next. Well, except for special teams. You don't do anything on special teams. Each and everybody is going to get one of these little fake pencils. And this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be marking on this board exactly what you're going to think is happening. So for instance, if you think the next play is going to be a run, and you think it's going to be to the right, and you think, say, number 24 is going to do it, then you would get one, two, three correct, 500 points if you got that right. If you didn't get it right, you don't get any points. So in this game, you have to get everything correct that you're guessing. So you can decide to play it safe and just say, all right, first and 10, I'm pretty sure he's just going to run it. And most of the time, you're going to get your 50 points. Uh, but you might get a little bit ballsier, and you might say, you know what, they only have one running back in the backfield, so I'm going to say uh, they're going to run it, and it's going to be with number 32, because he's the only running back back there. And if you got that right, you would get two correct down here, and you would get two 100 points. And as you can see, it goes 50, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000. So the more you're guessing, obviously, the less likely you are to be correct, but the more likely you are to pick up big points. You can also guess that the defense is going to get a sack or that the defense is going to get a turnover. And if you do that, you get 4,000 points, which can be a huge point swing. And it'll get to the point if you're really losing a game at the end of the game, you might just keep putting sack, sack, sack. And uh, sometimes you'll get that sack, and that will completely change the complexity of the game. Uh, but as you can see, they have run pass, uh, left, right, which means they're going to pass it to the left, run it to the right, that sort of thing. Uh, gain or no gain, uh, which is one that's uh, pretty cool. And then complete and incomplete is on the same box. Uh, player number, so you're guessing which player is going to catch the ball or which one's going to run the ball, so on and so forth. First down, if the team is going to get the first down. And touchdown, if you think they're going to get a touchdown. Uh, and the cool thing about this is you write on it all you want, and then you just pick it up, and boom, you're ready to redo it over and over again. And this has been in use since 1986, and as you can see, it's still uh, taking a licking and keeping on ticking. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to continue to do this throughout the entire game. And at the end of the game, uh, whoever has the most points is going to be the winner of NFL Armchair Quarterback. And that is how NFL Armchair Quarterback is played. Oh, curry dokery NFL Armchair Quarterback, the ultimate TV football game. What are my final thoughts? Let's go to the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, um, the game really doesn't 
use much of the NFL theme. You wonder how much they use of the NFL licensing they have? This. That's it. They have an NFL logo on this guy's helmet, and that's the only thing that is really NFL about this game at all. You will see no teams in this game, you will see no players in this game, you will see no logos in this game, aside from the NFL logo on this guy's helmet. Talk about a waste of branding. Also, if you don't like football, you know, if you really don't like football, this game is not going to be your cup of tea because you still have to watch football. And someone who watches more football than you will probably crush you at this game just because they know, you know, that, that certain things are more likely to happen than other things. If you don't like football, eh, you might want to steer clear of this one. Uh, the last comment I have with this game is that Scott, Ron, and Dad ruined the freaking cool scoreboard for me. <laughs> Stupid Scott, I hate your guts. Uh, but moving on to the pros. Wow. The ultimate TV football game. I'm going to take this a step further and say this is the ultimate football game that I've played. Just pure and simple. This is the funnest football game that I've played. And it doesn't try and simulate football. It's just you're trying to predict what's going to happen. And I love that. It's so much fun. This game is so incredibly simple. I picked this up at Goodwill for 50 cents and I was like, all right, whatever. If it stinks, I review it and I get rid of it. No biggie. I busted it out, I asked my wife to play, and she's like, I just want to watch football, I don't want to play a game right now. I'm like, but babe, it's a football game. She's like, I don't care. I'm like, please. And she said, okay, she's awesome. And we got it out, and I was like, oh, you're just doing this. And I gave her the board, and she's like, oh, what do I do with this? And I was like, oh, you just mark off what you think's going to happen on the next play. And she's like, really? And she's like, okay, I think it's going to be a run. And she got it right. And it was like, oh, I got 50 points. And it was just, it's just that simple. It's so incredibly simple. I mean, I can I, I was flabbergasted by this game. It is so much fun. Sober, drunk, family, with your bros watching fantasy football. Th this game is just awesome. We've gotten to the point where we now wager on this game and we play with it sometimes. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just a blast. And I, I mean, it'll get down to that point where like you're down by like say 2,000 in the fourth quarter. And you're just like, all right, I gotta go sack every time. Sack, sack, sack. And then you get so close to getting that sack and then the quarterback will get out and you'll be like, oh. Uh, but I like it a lot. And then you can also start gambling. Like, as I mentioned, if you get one right, you get 50 points. But if you get two, you get 200 points. So why not just gamble for that extra 150? And then pretty sure you'll be doing like, oh, I think it's going to be a pass to the left. It's going to be for a completion or first down. And you'll start to really get into this game. Um, I love this game. I would love to see this game get repr reprinted without an NFL logo because it really doesn't need it at all. It's fun to play with college. I mean, you can play this with high school football. You can play this with professional football. You can play this with peewee football. Uh, overall, NFL armchair quarterback is an absolutely fantastic must-buy, if you can find it, game for any football fan. That's pure and simple, best football game I have ever played. It is an absolute blast. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. And I would love to reprint this game if, if there was a big enough market. Uh, so, NFL Armchair Quarterback, if you can find it, immediately go buy it because it is awesome. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Also, in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite NFL or college team. Or both, if you want to let me know, because I am a diehard sports fan. Soccer, or not soccer, soccer is the only sport I don't like, but hockey, football, basketball, baseball, love them all. And uh, if you enjoyed this content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube. I, think I said subscribe twice. Do it. Subscribe twice. No, that would mean you unsubscribe. So only subscribe once. That was the review for NFL Armchair Quarterback. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner. Yeah.